Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will talk about the data and how to export your data from the Excel file to the Revit and how you can update it till your project is still developing. So if you are ready to get this knowledge, let's get started. Let's a bit step back. Here is my Excel file and as you can see here I have like let's say the name of the last name company address of that city phone number some contacts of the suppliers let's say this is our suppliers and we you know maybe someone we will change till the project our project it's updating this information is not going from the revit it's not bim information this is information going from outside so this is administrative file and that's why it's not able to for example get it in revit by dynamo for example but you wanna keep it information in your Revit file, your BIM file, but how you can do that? Of course you can create this schedule, you can create the new schedule, you can try to place all the names there. Yeah, it's possible to do that, but it will take a really long time, because hey, let's have a look. For example, even the node block, they will ask you choose the parameters so you should create the parameters for example let's say you have here the parameters like name address and something else you need to create this parameter you don't have it so okay now we understand we can create the schedule in revit but what if uh, information will updating it's not work for the architect you can use the other way and the other way, this is again the roots. Uh, you can download it, and all the links you will find below the video. Let's have a look how it looks like. Uh, you can see already my the Excel file, but before we will start to work in the table gen, let's do one thing. We know the our table, I mean the our schedule will be on this boundary. So I will select all this boundary and I will say this is our contacts. Let's write here the contacts. And here will be the contacts and enter okay now we understand this is our table it's the contacts and let's save it of course let's go back to the Revit and what we were gonna do table gen and you will find this table gen here let's add the tables we will go to the Excel file we will find our supply file let's say this is a saving on your server and you just uh, select your file and saying okay and after that uh, worksheets we will use the that same one the worksheets you will find the below here you can create like um, as many as you want like maybe thousands worksheets maybe you want just a couple of information from your uh, excel file i will show you everything and worksheets as you can see here is the contacts and the view type i want to use the schedule let's use the schedule and let's say okay now I will just select it and I will say just execute just few seconds we already done as you can see under the schedule you get the your uh, contact numbers as you can see here is all the contacts number and uh, all the names and you can you can uh, even able to change it here if you don't want to uh, for example do something but we are not talking to change it in revit we are talking about changing in excel for example your manager changed the some suppliers for example here um, i don't know like we changed the suppliers and now this supplier not relatable he not working with us done we just can delete every, all information from him. Let's delete for all information. Done. Doesn't have any information. Let's save it. Let's go back now to the uh, Revit and let's open our D roots again. Table gen and let's update it. I will just select it and let's update it. I have updated. And as you can see now we don't have this information as you can see i just spent one second i don't doing this work twice i just getting information from the excel file and just importing into the revit now the time to place our schedule to the list here is our list let's place our schedule here and here we can put information for me the information looks pretty well but let's say you want to you want to see the boundaries. I, you cannot see the boundaries. How you can do that? Actually, it's again not your work. You just can say to your manager, please, can you place some boundaries for your schedule? And he will do that by himself. Like he will create the boundaries. He will create, for example, for this one, a bit uh, the figure. And for this, it's also he will do a bit figure. As you can see, we have the boundary and he's saving. Okay, he said, okay, I have done. Check it out. 
So you just go into the title sheets, for example, to see it properly. I will select my my Excel file, updated, execute, and as you can see, we get we get our boundaries for the our title block. One more nice thing, we can rechange, I mean, we can resize our call and columns. As you can see here, we can change it and we can change also the our call files. You can say rows, I mean, we can say this is will be 10 millimeter. And as you can see, this is becoming bigger. But if you have again Excel file and if some, some, some way here it will be like this, for example, let's make it like this and making it bigger. And let's say this is text will be on the middle side. I want to see on the middle side and now let's save it now what you're gonna do just you will go again to the d roots table gen and after that you will say you want to update it let's update it and what we can see we can see exactly our excel file in revit let's see other situation you have your first name and last name of your supplies and you want to get not schedule you want to get the legend you have the reason so you can do what First, you're going back to the your Excel file. You know the first and uh, second call. It's your column. I mean, it's your the name of the supplies and last name. I mean the surname. You can select all both of them and say this is will be name, name, and enter. So we get the second. The, actually, I just mentioned here the our as you can see here's our column. If you will select our column column name, you will see now I'm selecting this column. Let's save it. Let's go back to the Revit and now table gen and I will say again I wanna add the schedule. I wanna just again my supply and after that I wanna uh, change my worksheet to the name and say this is legend view. Let's say okay and let's execute and this is done let's go to the legends here is our legend as you can see and here is the names as you can see and each of that text as you can see the, the each name is text and each the line this is a line and as you can see we get the table with the information here so this is also the nice way to how you can export your information you can even the change your uh, i mean the schedule if you want or you can even the change your text if you want to do that and now of course you can go to the your uh, the list for example here is our uh, drawing sheets and of course you can place your uh, legend inside to the your drawing list as you can see once if you will get the legend you will get the uh, like name of the your view so you, you also can just uncheck uh, unuse it like that and here is our uh, the legend and here is our schedule so if you find it interesting you will find the link below the video don't forget this is for free it always will be for free the roots doing very well their job if you have any question leave the comment below uh, and if you like this video don't forget to like and share it thank you guys and see you next time